In this video, we will review how to use the touchscreen options that control the HQ18 Avante. The touchscreens are located on both the front and rear of the machine. You can adjust the settings on either display. At the top of the screen, you'll see a red indicator light. When you press the start button, you'll see that it goes green. This indicates if it's on or off. There are two types of stitch mode, manual and regulated. The current mode displays in the upper left corner. In manual mode, you set the needle speed from 5% to 100%, 100% being the fastest. You can change by using the plus or the minus to increase or decrease. Next is the regulated mode. The display shows stitches per inch rather than a speed percentage. Use the plus or the minus buttons to increase or decrease the number of stitches per inch from 4 stitches to 18 stitches per inch. There are two modes of stitch regulation, precision or cruise. In precision, when you press the start button, the needle does not automatically begin stitching. The stitching begins when you move the machine. The stitching stops when you stop moving the machine, even if it's in the middle of a stitch or in the middle of a cycle. A good time to use precision mode is when you're using rulers. In cruise, use the plus or minus to adjust the speed from 3% to 50%. You're still in stitch regulation, but you can change the needle speed. 3% is a very slow speed. It begins stitching immediately when the start button is pressed and it continues to stitch until you press the stop button. This is 3%, a very slow percent. Now we'll move the cruise speed up to a higher speed and you can see the difference as it stitches. This stitches a little faster. One of the reasons that you'd want to use cruise speed is if you're trying to overstitch a design such as feathers and you want to stitch over the top of the feathers, the bump feathers, this is a great reason to use that so that it gives you that accurate stitch. Set whether you want the needle to stop in the up or the down position by choosing up or down on the main screen. This, the needle is set in the down position. Now we'll move it to the up. We'll stitch and as it stops, it will move to the up position. Press the more button and we'll move to the next screen with the lights, we have the main lights, and that gives us a whole area of lights, or the spotlight, and that directs right down to the needle area. We can turn off both lights if you wish. The sound will help adjust the volume of the touch screen and it's also for the overspeed alarm. You can turn off the overspeed alarm. If it's on, the alarm beeps when moving the machine faster than the speed setting. Press back and then press diagnostics 
There are six diagnostic tests for technical support in diagnosing problems. The motor sensor test. Press the motor to bring up the motor test to determine whether there is a problem with the HQ Avante motor. Slowly move the hand wheel. There should be a pulsing beep if the motor is functioning properly. Press back. The needle. Press needle to bring up the needle test. Determine whether the needle sensor is working properly. Slowly rotate the hand wheel. There should be a solid beep for the first part of the stitch cycle and no beep for the rest of the cycle. A continuous beep or no beep means the needle sensor has failed and needs to be examined by a qualified handy quilter technician. Press back. Press X motion. This verifies if the X motion and the Y motion stitch regulation encoders are working properly. The X motion tests the left and right motion of the machine and the Y motion tests the front and back motion of the machine. This is the X motion. And this is the Y motion. A continuous beep or no beep means the test has failed and the machine should be examined by a qualified handy quilter technician. Press back and then press the keypad test. This verifies that the machine is properly receiving information when buttons on the front and the back handles are pressed. Press and hold down one of the keys on the handlebars and confirm that its name displays on screen. The name disappears when the button is released. The speed test tests the motor speed sensor. Follow the instructions on the screen. Press back. System information gives you the information of the lifetime stitch count, gives you the serial number, the C-Pod firmware number and the handles. Your stitch counter is lifetime and a trip counter, so you can press reset and find out how many stitches you do per quilt. Press back. There's a handy built-in calculator for doing calculations at the machine. Press main. This takes you to the main screen. This video showed you how easy it is to use the HQ18 Avante options. Of course, you can also refer to the user manual for additional information about the options.